extreme hole. Does anyone ever use the dollar twenty-five um gel for your hair? That is so misleading. another hygiene video and today we are headed out to Dollar Tree. Why? Because I haven't been there in a long time and I just feel like it's time to go and see what's been going on. I understand it's not even a Dollar Tree anymore. It's a Dollar 25 tree. Like I was so mad when I found that out. Like why a Dollar 25? Like what was the point? But everything's been going up. Rent's going up, gas going up, just ugh, it's just never ending. So we're gonna take a trip over there and see what we could find. All right, guys, so here we are. We have just pulled up to the Dollar Tree, which I'm super mad they got that number one on the window. It should clearly say 125. Like, who and why? Yes, I am. <laughs> Hi. What's up, yeah. y'all? They say, what's up? <laughs> okay, so let's see what they have. Got the kiddos out here shopping. Let me see. We all in the wrong area. I should be getting some more. I had picked out some nice flowers actually. Where is the soaps? Oh, here we are. Okay, let's see what they have. So, it looks like, what is this? Is this the body wash? This is the White Rain Moisturizing Shampoo. This isn't the body. Why do they have the shampoo and the body wash by each other? Like, is it a reason for that? Because it says body wash. Hmm. Now, I remember using Lever soap. I feel like my family used to call it Lever. I don't know, but I think this, this soap used to smell good. Let me see. It does have like a fresh smell, but is that for men? Cause we can't be doing the men stuff. Okay, so yes, I have tried this before. This is the activated charcoal soap, but I did not try it on my face. Cause I was afraid, but a lot of people like to use the um charcoal so charcoal <laughs> soap on their face because it's known to clear up acne but i am not sure if this name brand clears up acne so don't don't take it from me but i didn't break out when i used it on my body so and they have it in shape what is this shea butter milk but y'all i don't know about that we have the Sensitive Dove, which is my favorite because I believe that you, we should be using the Sensitive Soap in our private areas, ladies. Um, not the fragrance soap. So I guess this is $1.25 now. Ugh. This is the Basics Dial. The one thing about the dollar store, the $1.25 store, they make stuff so small so you better make sure you get more than one because it's <laughs> really worth a dollar but my thing is by the time you do that you might as well go to the store and get a regular size soap like you might as well go get you a pack because you get so many small soaps so that it can add up to be more oh here's one i like this is the cool moisture dove i like those oh and it smells so fresh I like this. Cucumber and green tea, yes. Dara Sheree TV. Dara, how do you spell it? Dara Sheree TV, D-A-R-R-A. D-A-R-R-A. Space Sheree, C-H-E-R. 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 I-E. I-E. TV. 
Thank you. Yeah, what's your name? Safe. Safe. Safe, do you have a YouTube channel? Um, Not yet, but you like. Ophias. O O O F I A S. -S. It's Safe O. Okay. Ophias. Like running back. Okay, that's pretty. Well, have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Don't you love it when you meet the little kids? Okay, so. Our soaps. Now, one thing I've never tried is Jergens soap. It says Jergens mild soap cleans freshness. Never tried that before. Um, men, they got something for you too. They got the Dove Men Plus Care soap, extra fresh. It's for hair and body. Oh no, it says hand and body, hand, body, and face. I like to fill up with these. I haven't needed to, but I'm thinking I should get some. Soft soap is always a good, oops, look at me. Soft soap is always a good brand. I normally get this one, the Soothing Aloe Vera. Bye-bye. The Soothing Aloe Vera, because it gets the job done, you know. Let's see. Spa soap. Has anyone ever tried the spa soap? I see it every time I come, but have not stepped out to try it. Bath and Beauty. That's a liquid hand soap. We don't want to do that. But Dial. Oh, this is interesting. Himalayan salt in the Dial. Now, y'all know Dial is already very dry. Like, it makes you dry because it's known to get all of the grease and dirt out of your skin so i can only imagine putting himalayan salt in some dial that's probably ugh. um oh arm and hammer has what is this, this is for men probably it's for men body wash shampoo conditioner so they're doing three and one now i don't know about that y'all i don't know if i want body wash shampoo and conditioner all in one now they got me with the shampoo and the conditioner. That's fine, we, we make that work. But body, I, I don't know about that. So over here is where we have our shampoos and Lady Speed Stick has a body wash. Um, this is shampoos and body wash over here. I mean, I'm sorry. But yes, I never knew they had a body wash. Hmm, is it any good is the question. Pro Silk Body, I've never heard of that. Oil of Life Moisturizing Body Wash, never heard of that, but they also have it in Sensitive Skin. Silky and s never heard of that. What is this? Tropical Scented, is this Obi? No, I never heard of that one, guys. Sulfate Free. Color protection, lavender oil, and chamomile. And this is a shampoo. Hmm. Wait a minute, they got hair gel? Is this hair gel? <sighs> Extreme Ho. Does anyone ever use the dollar twenty-five um gel for your hair? I use what I use? The um the olive eco style gel. That's what I use on my hair. So I don't know about the dollar store. I don't know, but I've seen people using salon selectives. I've never used it though, but this is a heat protector. I wonder does it work? Because you can never have too much heat protector on your hair. And this is firm hold. What's good here that I need? That's what I'm trying to find out. Like, what do I actually need? Like, I don't want to just be buying stuff and I don't need it. So, I know I said I wanted some more shampoo. Oh, what do you know over here? So they actually do have the always panty liners here. They probably don't have the actual tampons and pads. Oh, do they? No, they don't. They don't just panty liners, but you guys know that regular panty liners and pads and tampons are supposed to be known to have bleach, like chlorine, like they use chlorine to make them up. So that means it's not safe for us. I've been doing some research that's saying that it might even be a cause of cancer. So, I don't know if we should be messing around with that. Dang, they got so much stuff. None of this deodorant works for me, so I know I cannot buy any of it. Dermaseal Moisturizing Body. I actually did want to try that. 
I did want to try it. just still so mad because they got one dollar on the door this is not one dollar that is so misleading like i'm pulling up and i'm thinking everything is one dollar then i get in the store and everything is a dollar 25 that's not one dollar i just i can't well anyways y'all know the drill we headed back to the crib I'm about to show y'all what I got for a dollar twenty-five a piece. <sighs> All right, y'all, we back. Two bags this time. Let's see what goodies we got. So I just was stepping out this time because of. Anybody use this? We're trying this, what is this? Alberto V05, V05 extra body shampoo. Because I wanted to straighten my hair and I wanted to have extra body. So it says extra body, so I figure, why don't we try it and see how it works? Don't know nothing about it. It doesn't, yeah, it smells good. It don't smell bad or anything, um, but it's volumizing. And so I want extra volume for when I straighten my hair. And I think this will do the job. So we got the shampoo and we can't get the shampoo without getting the conditioner. I also got the conditioner. One thing that stood out was that it says free of silicones, parabens and um, mineral oil so it does not have that in it so I want it because they had two options and I didn't see the difference other than this said it was free of those things so I said let's go with this one I think this one might do a little better or might be a little bit better for your hair I don't know we don't know I don't know so we also got this Dove body care which I've got this before many times it smells so good. It says beauty cream. I use it only for my body. I forgot it has a seal on it. I was trying to. Oh, it's so fresh smelling. It's just fresh, y'all, and moisturizing and creamy. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Not on the nose. Not messing up the makeup. I got a partnerships to film later but anyway yes love this this is my favorite little body cream by dove that i get from the dollar store they just it leaves so fast i wish i've never even seen this one in a big a huge container i don't know but definitely not at the dollar 25 store you're not gonna find it any bigger than this but this is my fave while we're talking about Dove, I also went on and grabbed the original Dove Soap Baby. And the reason why is because it's so fresh smelling. And sometimes I like the original smell of Dove. So we went on and we snatched that up. And then I had to go with that cool moisture, that cucumber. Because it's just so fresh smelling. Cucumber and green tea. Mmm. Smell like perfume or something. Whew. This is stuff to have the shower smelling super good. And then, so I saw that, what brand is this? You know what? I'm so drove, y'all. I was so busy looking at the ponds. I thought I was looking at, I could have sworn I was looking at the ponds stuff that I picked this up and I thought this was ponds. But no. Ain't no doggone ponds. I think maybe the ladies look the same and the packaging look the same, but I'm still gonna try it. This is the Pink Sugar Lip Scrub, and it's good for exfoliating your lips before we get to the lip conditioner. I don't know about you guys, but I like to use the Lano Lips Lip Conditioner. That's my favorite, um, but this will be something we will put on first. 
and this is the the rose scent mm, i want to see how this i just want to i'm curious because i've never used this before why is everything always so now i should know better coming from tv everything should be pre-opened before i even sit down and try to talk about anything so this is my fault and it comes with a little um uh what is this and it comes with a little spoon. It's a rose smell. I don't like scents unless it's for my body. I don't be wanting scents for my face, my lips, or nothing, but. Ooh, this really smells good. So we just scoop it on out, put it on the lips, and rub it, just exfoliate them lips. This is cute. I don't know though. I don't know if it's gonna be good. I, don't, I hope it don't break me out. But the name brand says Global Care. Global Beauty Care. I noticed they had a lot of stuff with that brand, but I've never heard of that, so I don't know about that. We also got this coconut water and mango <laughs> hand wash soap by Dial. Um, I, that'll be scaring me because when I say dry hands, it will make, well, I know the soap, the bar soap makes your body so dry because it's like getting like all the grease and dirt and just everything off your body. I don't know if the hand soap do the same thing. It says hydrating hand soap and it does say moisturizing conditioners. So I hope this is not as drying as the bar soap, but it smells good. It's coconut water and mango. I don't think it get no better than that. So when I need to refill my um, soap dispensers or whatever, maybe I'll try this. And last but not least, I finally got a suave shampoo. Like I've never ever had a suave shampoo and this is the Juicy Green Apple Revitalizing Shampoo. And it says, that it's a long lasting fragrance. So that means that my hair is gonna smell like juicy green apple, baby. Juicy green apple. Ooh, it smells so good. I don't know though. I don't know if this scent gonna stay. Infused with apple extract and vitamin E, long lasting fragrance. Oh, we'll see. We also got the conditioner. Can't get the shampoo without getting the conditioner, and it's a dollar twenty-five, which it should be a dollar, but it's a dollar twenty-five. And um, just based off the smell, I want to wash my hair with this. But it's a revitalizing shampoo, so I'm, right now I'm more curious in the um, volumizing shampoo because I just really want to see if that's gonna work. But. As y'all can see, these are some good products that I found and now I just gotta organize, which I gotta reorganize my bathroom and stuff. Let me know if y'all wanna see me reorganize my bathroom under the sink. Is that a video y'all want? Please let me know. So I spent a total of 12.07 when I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only have nine items, so it would have been it wouldn't have been, it would have been like ten dollars and some change probably, and I spent twelve oh seven because it's a dollar twenty five now, and not a dollar. So I guess y'all, I guess. But I thank you ladies for coming back to join me, ladies and gents, if it's men that sit up and watch hygiene videos. Um, I gotta go, cause I gotta wax under my arms. Y'all know that's a task for me. Been trying to do it myself. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button as well as hit that bell because I need for you to know when these videos are dropping. I'll see you in the next hygiene video. Bye-bye.